What's up you chubby little bastards? It's time for a Journey Bites unboxing. This Journey Bites box features snacks from Colombia. Now Journey Bites is very much like Munch Pack. You get a lot of variety, but, in, but with Journey Bites, they select a country. So you're getting a theme here. It's not all random stuff like Munch Pack, which is awesome and fun, but uh, sometimes you just wanna stick with the same country, see what it has to offer. That's what we're gonna do here. Now, another cool thing, about Journey Bites is that it gives you a nice handy dandy little guide here. Basically explains everything just in case it's not in English or it looks strange. I'm gonna keep this to the side because I don't want I don't want to know what to expect. You know what I mean? I want I like surprises. I like surprises inside of my mouth. So let's start off. We'll see. These are plantain chips, obviously. I can read English. Plantains, the cousin of the banana in chip form. You ever had plantain chips? These taste exactly like every plantain chip I've ever had. Which means I don't really like them. It's like it can't decide whether it's salty, whether it's sweet. It's not salty and sweet, it's just, it's weird. Six out of ten. Ooh, chocolitos, limon. These look like um, Fritos. So, I, uh, I'm just, this is cool. Trivia, fun facts. I'm not here to learn though, I'm here to eat. Let's see what this tastes like. Limon flavor, which is lime. Ooh, very strong lime flavor there. Even though I am the CEO of Team Lemon. I'm not gonna lie, these are tasty as hell. Of course these are a Frito-Lay product. Eight out of 10. Do you use like a little bit of spice there? Margarita, I know what these are. Pollo, pollo, chicken. Margarita is like the, the, the Lay's potato chips of uh, Colombia, made by, of course, Frito-Lay. So I'm expecting chicken chips. Hmm, doesn't really taste like roast chicken taste. Kind of like chicken ramen. I'm feeling it. It's all right. I'm feeling it, but not the best chicken chip I've ever had. I'm going to give these a 7 out of 10. All right, now I'm going to have to start using the the cheat sheet because I don't know what in the hell I'm looking at. Achiras de Huila are... Sorry about my sniffle. I'm constantly sick. Once you have a kid, you're like sick forever, all the time. It's just you have either a cough, stuffy nose, just something. So if I disgust you, sorry. These are um, similar to breadsticks with a light cheesy flavor. Crunchy snack you are sure to love. I'll see about that, Journey Bites. I will see. About, do I even lift? Okay, there we go. I expect these to be, I guess, cheesy because they had a yellowish color, but they are just that. They are little breadsticks. Five out of ten. Need some cheese to dip them in. Maybe there's something in here to dip them in. I don't know. What in the hell is this? Oh, I've actually had Coco Cell before. It's a wafer bar. Of course, chocolate. Even though I've had it before, I don't care. Oh yeah, I don't know how I forgot this. It's not chocolate. I was like, man, this is some weird ass chocolate. It's been a while, sorry. It's coconut. You're picky and weirdo. You're not gonna like this because picky and weirdos by nature do not like coconut. But I like it. Eight out of ten. Ooh. Rosa. Do you mind? Sons of Anarchy is in my backyard. Uh, Rosaquilas de Quesito cheese snacks. Let me, let me do some research on these guys. I'm sure I'm massacring the uh, pronunciation. Uh, let's see. This actually has a different name. They're supposed to be Basitos. 
It says, see, I'm not lying. Pasitos right there. But anyways, I was supposed to get the round version, the little, the little tiny nuggets, but I got the rings. Anyways, cheesy rings. Let's get it. Real cheese, baked, not fried, no preservatives. We should use some preservatives because this sucks. I don't like these at all. Four out of ten. Ooh, we find it, there's a lot of interesting stuff in here. What in God's name is this? Oh shit, God damn it. I'm in a leg brace if you guys didn't know, recovering from surgery. Uh, so we have this right here. This is Bocadillo Vanillo. I know my friend Chris is watching this right now, just laughing his ass off at my my horrible uh, pronunciation. Guava fruit. This is made with thick guava pasta with dulce de leche layer. So it's, I guess, guava with dulce de leche. Let's see. Oh, I expect it to be chewier. I love guava. I love going to Miami. They make guava everything in Miami. That's good stuff. Eight out of ten. It was tasty. These are Turan, made by Super Caramel Coconut Nougat. There's a lot of stuff in this box. Another cool thing about Journey Bikes is they definitely give you your money's worth, your money's worth here. Because there's a ton of stuff in here. I'm still going through it. So, oh, ow. Very much like toffee. I broke my teeth a little bit. We're gonna be okay though. What else we got in here? A chocoramo. Oh yeah, those things, those toffee things, I'm not feeling it. Five out of 10. This is a yellow cake with a chocolate coating. Seems to me like this is like the Twinkie of Columbia. All the kids grew up eating it. We'll see how it is. It looks tasty as hell. I'm not gonna lie. In the interest of time, I will not be picking my teeth, although I need to. So I'm just gonna keep this show going. The show must go on. I got things to do. Stuff to eat. Ooh. They're pretty good. Pretty good. I'm not mad at it. Tastes fluffy. I like the chocolate coating. Give that a 7 out of 10. These look like they're gonna tear up my teeth. They are uh, fruity taffy compared to Starburst. Alright. Can't wait for this to wreck my gums. Oh, pretty soft. It's more like Laffy Taffy. From Starburst, I'd say. It tastes like banana Laffy Taffy. Which I like. Give this a uh, 7 out of 10. What else we got in here? I'm saving this thing for last. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Here we go. Jet Chocolate Bars. They're the most popular brand of chocolate in Colum this guy. It sounds like he's riding a weed whacker. Nice bike, dude. I'm just gonna let jerk off finish over here. There we go. Ooh, crunchy. Not bad though. Hmm. Seven out of ten. What do we got here? Oh snap. Straight Dulce de Leche. Milk and sugar. Best paired with uh, anything. You eat it with a spoon. I'm gonna eat it with a spoon. Oh damn y'all. This is some beat is waiting to happen. Oh my lord. Hold on. Let's see how versatile this stuff is. Plantain chip. Ooh. Nice. Breadstick thing. Ooh. 
Nice. This is amazing. I mean, it's just caramel. Awesome. This is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I can feel the diabetes flowing through my veins as we speak, coursing through my entire body, and I love it. All right. We're at the end here. This is the thing I was waiting to eat at the end. This is a... I don't, I'm not even going to read this. Or maybe I will. Milk caramel with coconut. It's a traditional... Dulce de leche con loco. So we got dulce de leche, we got coconut. What is this though exactly? So it's an arequipe. Oh, I love arequipes, even though I can't say the word. I've had a couple in the past. These look so good, guys. So dense. Look at that. Soft. Oh. Mmm. Once again, picky eating weirdos. Steer clear, man. A lot of coconut flake, but man, you know what I say? Can never have enough. Don't say to AJ. Oh yeah. Merry Christmas to me. Or for least not be done. So, Journey Bites, JourneyBites.com, different country every box, tons of stuff that most of it I've never seen before, which is the, this is the second Journey Bites box I've gotten. First one the same thing, a lot of new stuff, a lot of fresh stuff, so highly recommend it. Look it up and enjoy.